All live ceased to exist in the face of this calamity. The blood cloud covered the central plains for three months. However, it did not show any signs of weakening. During these three months, the prosperous and lively central plains had become unusually messy and desolated. Everyone were in panic as they searched for safe places to hide. Many had even ventured underground in hopes that doing so would allow them to hide from this calamity. Thick blood cloud covered the sky above the central plains. Dense, revolting, bloody stench permeated the air. The land was bright red. Viscous blood dyed the central plains until it became like the land of the demons. Dense white bone drifted within the sea of blood. There appeared to be countless sharp screeches reverberating within the sky, causing one's pores to stand. Such a massacre was extremely rare, even in the history of the Dochi continent. After all, regardless of what kind of big battle erupted, an ordinary person would most likely not intervene. However, the Hun clan could be considered extremely heartless this time around. Their massacre would not stop because of anyone's identity. Many people became increasingly hopeless in their hearts as they looked at the blood cloud in the sky, which left one's heart cold. With more time passing by, the energy gathered within the formation became increasingly terrifying. Everyone knew that once Han Tiendi broke out from his retreat, no one in this world would be able to stop him. The entire land was covered by death and darkness. The despair caused one to tremble despite not feeling cold. Sky Mansion Alliance Headquarters Many figures stood on a tall stage. Their eyes contained a gloominess as it penetrated through the huge, defensive barrier in the sky. Finally, they looked at the blood cloud permeating the sky. Han Tiendi's aura is becoming increasingly strong. I can sense that he is about to succeed. The pressure and silence continued for a moment before Zhu Kuen slowly spoke. The hearts of the few people beside him involuntarily sunk upon hearing his words. Don't tell me that we are simply just going to watch him complete the final step. Lane clenched his teeth. His voice had some grievance that could not be described. They were just like tortoises during this period of time. All of them had shrunk into the defensive barrier. This kind of feeling was considered a kind of torture towards his somewhat fiery hot temper. The formation has been formed. Just the energy gathered within the blood cloud is sufficient to give us trouble. There is no need to even talk about charging inside and engage in a life and death battle with Han Tiendi. Gu Yuan shook his head. There was a rich, helpless feeling within his eyes. The strength of Han Tiendi was no longer something that they could compare with. They might be able to temporarily maintain his body. It was quite a difficult thing. It was really wishful in thinking of attack now. Hearing this, everyone's fists were involuntarily clenched. Even they were felt a little hopeless in the face of this situation. Even less needed to speak of the others. The area around the alliance was also filled with conflict. Those factions which had come to seek protection began to fight each other in order to occupy a safe position. Yin Jin sighed softly. These useless trash. Back then, they were simply idling by the side when we are fighting with the Hun clan. Now that they have tasted the bitter pill, they actually dare come to seek our protection. Laying cried furiously. Everyone smiled bitterly. Where would these factions find the courage to participate in the war between the Alliance Army and the Hun clan? There is no need to be overly pessimistic. We still have some hope. Gu Yuan braced his attention, smiled, and said, Everyone appeared to have recalled the final hope upon hearing this. Light surged within their eyes. Indeed, they still had some hope. Now, all we can do is pray that Xiao Yin will be able to successfully accept the ancient god inheritance. That is the only way for us to turn things around, otherwise this central plains will really be finished. The skinny young man's image floated in his mind as Gu Yuan spoke softly. However, I do believe that he will show us a miracle. 
It is naturally for the best if that is the case. It seemed as though Gu Yuan's words were infectious. The originally tense group relaxed slightly. A smile appeared on their faces. Time slowly passed amidst the horror and hopelessness of countless individuals. The blood cloud that enveloped the sky created such a pressure that one had the impulse to become mad. Three months, four months, five months, half a year, the blood cloud in the sky became increasingly deep and solemn. At the same time, they also became increasingly thick. At times, even the sunlight had difficulty penetrating. An increasing number of blood light swept across the sky during this period of time. The surge of each blood light would be accompanied by a bloody scent that rose to the sky. However, with an increasing number of people swarming into the defense barrier that the Sky Mansion Alliance had placed, some of the terrifying blood light gradually changed their target. At the end, they even began to smash onto the defensive barrier. Fortunately, there were many powerful individuals in the Alliance. Hence, stabilizing this defensive barrier did not pose much of a problem. Of course, each time the blood light charged towards the defensive barrier, it naturally caused many to panic. After all, the only protection everyone had was the defensive barrier in the sky. Once this defensive barrier was broken, they would become a member of the corpses that covered the land. Half a year slowly passed while countless number of individuals were feeling terrified. No overly great earth-shaking big battle erupted during this half a year. However, the pressurizing bloody stench was a much greater cause of craziness compared to any big battle. The blood cloud merely covered half of the central plains during this half a month's time. No experts from the Han clan appeared. Even Han Tianyi's voice did not appear in the sky. However, the fierce and monstrous aura from the Sea of Blood was becoming increasingly terrifying with the flow of time. On the seventh month after the formation covered the whole of the central plains, the Sea of Blood in the distant sky finally revealed some ripples. The Sea of Blood churned. A whirlpool appeared within the Sea of Blood. After which, a huge blood-colored lotus slowly rose from the Sea of Blood. A figure was seated on the blood lotus. Blood-colored hair fell like a waterfall. Some even fell into the Sea of Blood. The figure floated on the sea of blood, like a demon spreading its wings. A strength that leaves one intoxicated. The human figure's tightly shut eyes were slowly opened. The scarlet color that filled it caused huge waves to rise within the sea of blood. Crash! The space behind Han Tindi became distorted when he opened his eyes. A human figure covered in black flames appeared. Those descendant citizens from the Ling, Shur and Yao clans had all been thrown into the blood pool. Sixty to seventy percent of the descendant citizens from the Hun clan has also been thrown in. However, this had led to much dissatisfaction. The nihility devouring flame looked at the human figure, whose hair had turned into the color of blood, and said, Those blood eyes of Han Tindi fluctuated slightly. He laughed softly. The blood lotus was rotated and he looked directly at the nihility devouring flame. The black flame in the eyes of the nihility devouring flame leaped after he was being watched by Han Tiendi. He asked in a faint voice, What is the matter? There seems to be something extra mixed within the energy of the sea of blood. Han Tiendi laughed. Oh, the black flame within the eyes of the nihility devouring flame withered intensely. Han Tiani was full of smiles. His hand was suddenly extended into the sea of blood in front of him, after which he grabbed violently. The entire sea of blood began to churn. Subsequently, traces of black light agglomerated in his palm. Finally, it transformed into a cluster of black flame. If I were to absorb these energy into my body, a devouring seed would likely have been planted, right? Han Tiendi smiled as he looked at the cluster of black flame, after which he faced the nihility devouring flame and said, 
It looks like you aren't loyal to me. You have forced me to do this. Fierce light suddenly shot out from the eyes of the nihility devouring flame. Both of his hands suddenly pressed on the sea of blood. A ripple was emitted. Soon after, the sea of blood fluctuated. Endless black flames spread from it and crazily erupted towards Han Tiendi. Attack! The nihility devouring flame suddenly let out a stern cry when the nihility devouring flame attacked. One could see the surrounding space fluctuate. Dozens of figures appeared. They hesitated for a moment before widening their mouths and spat out a cluster of dense black flame. These black flames swiftly gathered. Finally, they turned into a strange array on the sea of blood. They subsequently covered Han Tiendi. Ha ha, it looks like you have quietly schemed during these years. These elders have actually been unknowingly controlled by you. Hub Tiendi spoke with some surprise after seeing these familiar figures. Hanf, forget about these elders. Most of the clan members of the Han clan have a bloodline seal that I have placed within their bodies. Han Tiendi, do you really think that I am unprepared? With just a thought of mine, your Hun clan will suffer serious losses. The nihility, devouring flame laughed coldly. Originally, I would not have swarped to this. However, you actually plan to kill me. You cannot blame me for acting first. Suffer serious loss? Han Tiani shook his head. The expression in his eyes suddenly became dark and dense. As long as I am around... The Hun clan will never end up suffering serious losses. Your current self can also forget about fighting me. That is merely suicidal. Han Tindi suddenly stood up from the blood lotus. He laughed out loud towards the sky. His mouth widened immediately and a suction force erupted. That black flame array covering him was turned into a line of fire that was swallowed by him. An aura that seemed to surpass this world suddenly surged out from within Han Tindi's body as he attacked. Immediately, a giant wave rose from this endless sea of blood. Bang, bang, bang. The sea of blood below, those dozens of elders from the Han clan surged. Finally, they were wrapped by blood bubbles. Those blood bubbles were shrunk violently, and one was able to hear many muffled sound appearing. Their bodies were exploded into splutters of blood that merged into the sea of blood. These experts from the Hun clan did not even have the opportunity to react before they were directly killed by Han Tiendi. You have already succeeded? The nihility, devouring flame, finally paled from shock after sensing the vast and mighty aura that surpassed the world. I have succeeded for half a month, and I was merely waiting for you. Han Tiendi licked his bright red lips. His palm was aimed at the nihility, devouring flame, before grabbing gently. In order to congratulate me on successfully becoming the first elite Dodi in 10,000 years, please hand me your essence flame. Han Tiendi, the lives of those clan members of the Han clan, can be taken by me with just a thought. Do not blame me for being ruthless if you dare attack. The nihility, devouring flame roared. Han Tiendi paused momentarily upon hearing this. He turned his head and looked at the nihility, devouring flame with a strange expression. He said, You have been with me for such a long time. Don't tell me that you are unaware of my character. The nihility, devouring flame felt his heart becoming cold. This fellow was willing to pay any price in order to achieve a maim, even if the price was the entire Hun clan. Just as the nihility devouring flame had comprehended this and planned to flee, however, he was shocked to discover that his body was no longer able to move. Explode! Hun Tiendi wore a smile. He gently aimed and clenched his hand at the nihility devouring flame. The latter's body exploded apart. It turned into black flames that permeated the sky as it crazily fled in all directions. Han Tiendi glanced at the fleeing black flame. 
He widened his mouth and a suction force erupted. The many black flames swiftly flew backwards and entered into his mouth. Your present strength is just like an ant in my eyes. Han Tindy elegantly rubbed the corner of his mouth with the back of his hand after easily swallowing the nihility, devouring flame into his body. His scarlet lips appeared extremely evil. Now, it seems to that I should head over and finish off those troublesome fellows. Han Tindy's eyes were thrown towards the land. A strange smile surfaced on his face. At the same time, a voice which contained an endless bloodthirstiness resounded over the central plains in a vast and mighty fashion. Remember that today is the day that I, Han Tiendi, has gained the title of a god. Han Tiendi, he has succeeded. Gu Yuan's and Zhu Kuan's expressions suddenly changed as they stood at the headquarters of the Alliance. Their faces were filled with shock as they were lifted. They looked at the thick blood cloud outside of the defensive barrier. For the first time, they could sense an aura which caused their souls to tremble at that spot. That aura was something that only an elite Doe D possessed. The only person within the blood cloud who could become an elite Doe D was naturally Han Tiendi. Today is the day that I, Han Tiendi, has gained the title of a god. A vast and mighty voice filled with a bloody scent descended from the sky and resounded over every corner of the central plains, just as the expressions of Gu Yuan and Zhu Kuan changed. Han Tiendi, the area around the Alliance headquarters immediately turned into an uproar after hearing this name, which was currently regarded as a demon. Everyone suddenly stood up. Their faces were covered with horror as they looked towards the sky. Buzz, buzz! A hurried warning siren sounded within the star realm while everyone were shocked. The Alliance army rushed out from all over the place and spread in all directions. Finally, it turned into a black mass of powerful army that was suspended in the sky. The Alliance army had clearly undergone quite a lot of training during this half a year. The manner in which the army currently acted involved a much deeper cooperation compared to the past. Their auras also appeared unified. The chaos gradually calmed as everyone looked at the big army of black mass floating in the air. It seemed that the action of the Alliance army had caused everyone to feel slightly reassured despite everyone understanding that this reassurance was extremely fragile. Gu Yuan, Zhu Kuan and the rest had appeared in front of the large army at the same time. Their expressions were grave as they lifted their heads to look at the layers of blood cloud outside of the defensive barrier. At this moment, the bloody scent in the world seemed to be much denser as compared to before. This aura does indeed belong to Han Tiendi. Gu Yuan inhaled a deep breath of air. He suppressed the irritation and uneasiness within his heart. With a wave of his hand, he spoke in a deep voice. Everyone, ready yourselves. The Alliance army immediately cried out in Yuzhen after hearing this. Their aura was quite strong. If we do not stop him this time around, this entire Do Chi continent would likely be controlled by Han Tiendi. At that time, all creatures will die. Yen Jin spoke in a solemn voice. If nothing unexpected occurs, this would be their final battle. Gu Yuan and the rest nodded quietly. Han Tiendi had arrived while being accompanied by the might of a Dou Di. Just he alone would be able to fight against the entire Alliance army. If they were careless, they would likely be defeated in this war, which had continued for a long time. Is there any news from Xiao Yin? Laying asked. No, Gu Yuan shook his head and replied. The inheritance of the ancient god is not a joke. It likely requires quite a long time. But we do not have so much time left. Laying laughed bitterly. Gu Yuan was quiet for a moment before he said, It is not that I do not wish to inform him. However, all of you should know that Xiao Yin is our only remaining hope. Only if he successfully advance into the Dou Di class will we be able to fight against Han Tiendi. 
Otherwise, even if we were to summon him out before that, it would be completely useless. At that time, we will only bury our only hope. Yin Jin and the rest sighed softly. All they could do was to nod their heads. They also understand that Gu Yuan was indeed speaking the truth. Some of the younger generation of our three clans has already been transferred away. At the very least, a little of our bloodline will be preserved. Hence, even if we fail today, as long as Xiao Yin can succeed, the bloodline of our three clans will still continue. Gu Yuan spoke in a deep voice. Therefore, we must not call Xiao Yin out before he succeed. You are right. In that case, we will do as you say. Our lay clan does not have anyone who is afraid to die. Even if that bastard Hun Tindi has really become a Do Di, my lay clan will still dare to fight him. Laying clenched his teeth and came around. He cupped his hands together and said, Gu Yuan smiled slightly. The ripples in his heart had also slowly calmed down. He lifted his head and his eyes looked at the thick blood cloud. Currently, it was time to live and die with the Alliance Army. The blood cloud that covered the sky did not move as the Alliance Army waited solemnly. Rich bloody scent drifted across the sky. However, this kind of silence did not cause one to be relaxed. This was because everyone could sense the feeling of an imminent storm. The pressurizing silence continued for around an hour. Finally, ripples rose within the blood cloud, which had covered the central plains for over half a year. After which, the blood cloud covering the sky slowly parted in front of many people's eyes. Soon after, rushing wind sound appeared. Figures riding on black fog swarmed out in all directions from the blood cloud like flood water. Finally, they floated outside of the huge defensive barrier. Their eyes were densely cold as they stared at the black mass of people inside. The Hun clan is finally here. The expressions of many turned somewhat pale as they looked at the large army that covered the sky. Although they had already anticipated this scene, their hearts still felt an endless horror and despair when this moment finally arrived. The Hun clan's army was suspended in the sky. They did not say anything. Instead, they simply watched the countless number of people inside the defensive barrier below like a pack of fierce wolves. Suddenly, a path was formed within the army. Soon after, a blood color came over from a distance away, after which it transformed into a blood lotus, which was filled with an endless bloody aura and floated in front of the Han clan's army. The blood lotus was suspended in the sky. A human figure with messy bloody hair sat on it. The bloody stench that permeated the sky had reached an extreme level. Finally, the air moved and the bloody aura agglomerated into blood droplets all over the place. Blood rain fell and splattered onto the defensive barrier. This spectacular scene caused many to feel an endless chill within their hearts. Han Tiendi, Gu Yuan, and the others stared intently at the human figure seated on the blood lotus. Both of his hands were involuntarily clenched tightly. That aura was far too terrifying. Gu Yuan, you have lost. Han Tiendi sat on the blood lotus. The long bloody hair behind him danced in the wind. Those scarlet eyes smilingly stared at Gu Yuan's group within the defensive barrier as he slowly said. Gu Yuan's eyes sunk. He cried out, Han Tiendi, the ancient clans has long held an informal agreement that our war will not hurt the ordinary people. This action of yours will definitely be met with retribution. What a joke. Han Tiendi laughed softly. Immediately, his body slowly stood up from the blood lotus. He appeared like the lord of this world overlooking the lands. The current me has already surpassed this world. Who can condemn me? Rules are always made by the strong. From today onwards, the Dochi continent will belong to my Hun clan. 
Han Tiendi's voice contained an endless bloodthirstiness as it reverberated over the sky. It caused the expressions of an increasingly number of people to pale. Given the way the Hun clan acted, if it really controlled the Do Chi continent, it was likely that everyone would have to live in an endless and constant fear in the future. I am the final victor of this war. A blood light surged within Han Tiendi's eyes. Soon after, he extended his hand and aimed at the barrier below, which protected countless people. Suddenly his palm was clenched. Gu Yuan, given that you were once an opponent who can match me, I shall allow you to witness what is called the strength of a Do D today. The bloody rain in the sky gathered as his voice sounded. It turned into an extremely thin, bloody line. The bloodline flashed across the sky in a lightning-like fashion. A hundreds of thousands feet long black line appeared in the sky as the bloody line passed. The space itself had been directly cut apart. At the same time, the defensive barrier below, which was built by many experts combined, did not create any ripples as it simply exploded apart in front of those many stunned eyes. Everyone became dull as they saw the final defense disappear. Regardless of how the blood rained onto his body, the bloody scent caused them to feel death approaching. Just a mere random strike, and the defense formed by Zhu Kuen and the many Alliance army collapsed. The expression of Gu Yuan's group became ugly as they watched the defensive barrier being destroyed. They also became extremely gloomy. The strength that Han Tianyi currently possessed caused even them to shudder. In formation, Gu Yuan's expression was gloomy. His body rose into the air and suddenly cried out sternly. Even though he was clearly aware that he was no match for his opponent, he must still fight until the end. The densely packed Alliance army also cried out furiously after hearing Gu Yuan shout out loud. Their cries shook the land. Monstrous Do Qi surged out from within his body. The momentum even managed to scatter some of the blood cloud that covered the sky. Gu Di Mirror. Gu Yuan's body floated in the vast and endless Do Qi. The seals formed by his hands were altered. Do Qi gathered. Finally, it turned into an energy ancient mirror that was tens of thousands of feet in size. After gathering the Do Qi of so many experts, a terrifying annihilation like ripple immediately rose from within the ancient mirror. Gu Yuan and the others understood the strength that Han Tindi currently possessed. Hence, they had unleashed their strongest attack on the first strike. The strength of many were gathered along with the might of the formation in order to unleash such a terrifying attack. Grub! Gu Yuan spat out a mouthful of essence blood the moment the energy light mirror appeared. The blood scattered into the light mirror. Immediately, light rose from it. Swoosh! Gu Yuan had a grave expression. The seal formed by his hands rapidly changes. Finally, one could see the energy light mirror tremble intensely. A light pillar, which was hundreds of thousand feet in size, suddenly erupted. Even the air itself was destroyed wherever the light pillar passed. The light pillar had penetrated through the entire sky. It was clearly visible to the entire central plains. Everyone's hearts were lifted at this moment. Even Han Tiendi would likely have difficulty blocking such a strong attack, right? Han Tiendi, who was standing on a blood lotus in front of the countless pairs of eyes, merely smiled indifferently. Those blood-colored palms shot towards the terrifying light pillar, heading towards him from below. His finger was extended and pressed gently. Shatter. A soft word sounded, and a furious dragon-like light pillar came to a sudden halt when it was still ten feet or so from Han Tiendi. That finger of Han Tiendi also gently landed on the light pillar. Boom! Not even the slightest energy ripple was formed as the finger landed. The seemingly incomparably terrifying light pillar collapsed an inch at a time under those stunned eyes. Finally, 
It emitted a boom and turned into light spots that fell from the sky. Gu Yuan, I will be the final victor of this battle. Hun Tiendi looked down at the ugly expression of Gu Yuan below. He smiled faintly as he slowly said, 